It's a really exciting time for solar nationally and internationally, but especially in Seattle. Yes, yeah, so solar has gotten bigger every year since it started back in 2001 and uh, when we only had a couple of customers interested in it and now we have over 1800 customers that have invested in their own solar on their homes and businesses. We know that our community is clamoring for more solar uh, whether that's advice on how to do it on their homes or whether that is resources for, for how they can participate in solar. One of the beauties of solar is it can be built on al almost any scale, on a residence, on a large business, or on utility scale. The utility now owns several solar arrays as part of our community solar projects. Our first community solar project is in South Seattle. It's at Jefferson Park and it's on some um, picnic shelters. The Seattle Aquarium is sort of on the, you know, Seattle's front door. It's super visible, it gets thousands of people walking by it every day. We have other arrays uh, that aren't quite as visible, um, for instance on the roof of a Finney Neighborhood Center or at the Holiday Apartments in Capitol Hill. But then we have other ones that also get a lot of traffic, like the aquarium. So at the Woodland Park Zoo, um, the Rainforest uh, Food Pavilion is a place where we figure at least half a million visitors stop there every year. We've, uh, we've been really happy with how it's produced. I mean, it's living up to expectations. I think uh, lowering the carbon footprint of everything uh, is, really, is really paramount. And this is something we can really do uh, to, help, to help that drive that number down. But one of the biggest barriers to solar energy is education. People want to know how much energy is going to be produced by any solar array in Seattle, and they have all their questions, you know, what's well, cloudy here, and what does it do? And does solar make sense for me? And, and sometimes customers are interested in solar thermal, sometimes they're interested in solar electric, more and more it's solar electric. So we try to respond to that public demand or customer interest in solar with a project that can uh, serve those needs and also get the message out while providing a new communication channel. This is Moby, Seattle City Lights mobile solar kiosk. It functions dually as a podium for presentations. I am really happy to be here as we introduce our first-in-kind solar powered kiosk that was designed and built in Seattle. It's a great example of how we can be innovative. So, but also as an interactive kiosk for education. So who knows how solar panels work? You know? The heat is, that, that's close, that's cl the light, exactly. So first Wolby is an excellent tool to reach out to the community, especially reaching out to younger people who have a keen interest in knowing how it works. I mean, a lot of times these are not visible on a building's rooftop, uh, and even when they are visible, it's rare that you get to get on a roof to see what a photovoltaic energy module feels like and what it looks like up close. Now we have a way to show people on a live, you know, minute by minute basis what the systems are producing. So we can tell you what a system produces in December on a cloudy day, in July on a sunny day. And to, to tackle some of the misconceptions, a lot of people are concerned that the cloud cover is, you know, there's no potential for solar here, but actually provides diffused light in that UV spectrum that is actually very efficient. Also, our temperature is very moderate, and you see a lot of efficiency loss in the hot, hot temperature where a lot of solar is going in. So we've got a unique climate here that actually does work well for solar. This is the winter, so we're getting into the spring, and, and uh, if you see February and into March, it's really been a sunny, sunny spring for us. So it's got a touchscreen user interface, which relays educational information about solar energy, conservation, energy efficiency. and these dashboards also provide equivalencies on how much carbon was saved. By using solar energy and not burning coal, you've done the equivalent of planting 450 trees. One of the things that we're doing as a utility also is making sure that customers have a one-stop shop to go to for all things conservation and renewable. And Mobi is something that can give them information on our solar programs and in a way they can understand. Uh, it's one thing to put a solar panel on a roof. It's another thing to understand what it's doing up there and how it works and how it's saving energy. 
So you can go to the How Solar Works tab and learn about how photovoltaic generation or distributed generation relates to the utilities grid. You know, people can go online, see how much energy is being produced at any point, kind of check out how solar works, giving people the option to connect to it if they're interested. This is a resource not just for us to teach others, but for others to learn about what's happening with solar energy and then share that message. But this is great, thanks a lot. No problem, man. All right, see Have you. a great day. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.